Hello everyone. Remember that spiral um, herb garden that I planted back in March? Well, the mint has taken off. And today I'm gonna pick some mint and dehydrate it to make my own mint teas. That was the whole purpose of having this spiral herb garden to um, make my own teas. I have chamomile, lemon balm, all kinds of mints, some stevia, but the mint grows the fastest. So today I went out this morning and cut some mint to dehydrate and then bag up to make my own mint teas. So I have a peppermint, a spearmint, a pineapple mint, and a double mint. And I wish you could smell these cut mint pieces. They're wonderful. This is my Excalibur food dehydrator. It's a nine tray and I've got it set on the herb setting for about four hours, but it probably will not take that long. First step is to remove the leaves from the stems and I have it in my um, mixing bowl that I use to wash all my vegetables, lettuces and things. So I just carefully take all the leaves off the stems and then I'll get ready to wash. I did each um, mint in its own wash. So this is the pineapple mint that I'm gonna wash first. So I put some water in the bottom of the bowl, put on the top and give it a nice spin. Now my mint was not real dirty. I do mulch it good. So there wasn't a lot of sand on it, but I still like to wash it well. So a few spins Take it out, throw out this water, the dirty water, and then put it back in and spin it dry. It's pretty easy. This is the dehydrator wrap trays and you just lay your um, leaves on top. Spread them out very well so that none are laying on top of each other. So I had more pineapple mint than I did the other mints. So I've spread this out, removing any of the big chunk stems. Pat it dry with a paper towel to get out any excess moisture. And make sure that none of the leaves are laying on top of each other, spread out as much as you can. I did all four mints this way on separate trays. And that's what's so great about this Excalibur is they have these nice big trays. So here are all the mints washed, patted, dried, and ready to go in the dehydrator. Ready to cut it on and then I'll check it in about an hour. Might have to turn the trays. I've set it on the herb setting for four hours, but I'm going to check it about every hour. In the meantime, while it's dehydrating, I wanted to share with you what got me interested in making herbal teas. Is I went to a specialty store and I bought this orange clove tea mix. When I opened it, I was so disappointed. It was mostly black tea leaves with very few bits of orange peel or cloves. So I said to myself, I'm going to make my own and I did. And it, the, the brand I bought at the store was very expensive and it came from China. So that's, that's enough said there. So I came home and I made my own batch, put it in these tea bags, and it is delicious. I'll do a video later on how to make your own orange spice tea mix, but it's so much better than that store-bought brand. And the, the store-bought looked old and did, did not have a good taste. I used cinnamon sticks, real cloves, orange peel that I had dehydrated, and my own black tea mixture. So I made up a bat, big batch of these at Christmas. I still have some left over and they're still good. So I'll do a separate video on how to make your own orange spice tea. I did find these little bags that I'm putting the tea in off of Amazon. Um, to, to hold your own tea mixtures and they work great. I highly recommend. It was a big box 
a lot that's going to last me a long time. If you don't want to use these kind of bags, you could always buy at any grocery store or Walmart your own little tea. Um, I don't even know what they call this tea ball that you can put loose tea in. So I have one of those too, but I do like the little bags because I can make those up ahead of time and they're easy to pop in a cup for a cup of tea. All right, about three hours passed and all my leaves are nice and crunchy and that's the way you want your leaves. You do not want them soft. They gotta be nice and crunchy. So I poured them all in a bowl and with my hands, I crunched them up into a fine, not quite a powder. I put two teaspoons in each little baggie and I tied it off. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Two teaspoonfuls. And then I made myself a cup of mint tea and it was delicious. Hot water, you just steep your tea bag for about 10 minutes. And next time I do a video, I will show you how to make your own orange spice tea because that is even better.